teaches tropical ecology at a university. He explains to his students how to collect and prepare tropical flowers for further research. He uses PowerPoint slides and reads his text word by word, until he gets to the last slide. Half an hour later, Jack is done with his explanations, and his students were done after five minutes. Good use of multimedia is explained in the multimedia theory of Richard Meyer. Richard Meyer studied how effective instruction can increase learning outcome. In a nutshell, students learn more effectively from a combination of images with spoken text than from a written text only. The cognitive multimedia theory combines two other theories, the cognitive load theory and the dual code theory. The cognitive load theory by John Sweller emphasizes the limits of the working memory load during instruction. The human memory consists of the sensory memory, the working memory, and the long-term memory. Information enters through the sensory memory, where it is coded. It is processed further in the working memory. The capacity of the working memory is limited to about seven elements. When too much new information is added, existing information can be lost, unless it is stored in the long-term memory, which is, has unlimited storage capacity. According to the cognitive load theory, students learn best when the cognitive load on the working memory is minimized. The dual code theory addresses both visual and verbal representations of information. For example, the concept carnivorous plant. This can be represented by image or text. Carnivorous plant. Visual and verbal information is processed through separate channels of the working memory. For each channel, separate representations are created. The mental codes corresponding to these representations can be used for organizing and memorizing information. Combining both channels leads to more effective information processing and retention. Mayer combines these two theories into his multimedia theory. He describes effective multimedia principles aimed at minimizing the working memory load. The following aspects are important. Multiple representations. Combine words with images. Contingency. Present the images and words close to each other and simultaneously. Coherence. Avoid using unrelated material. It will only distract students. Modality. Spoken text is better than written text. Redundancy. Spoken text does not need written text. Segmentation. Cut information into meaningful parts. By following these principles, you respect the possibilities and limits of the working memory. This enhances information processing and long-term memory storage and maximizes learning outcome. It is important to follow these principles when designing videos or slides. In his tropical ecology class, Jack now illustrates his explanation with a video of his own fieldwork in a tropical rainforest. He demonstrates how tropical plants and flowers are collected and prepared. Okay, now we're back. Uh, we're still at Mount Cameroon. Um, we're collecting Uvario dendron, if I'm not mistaken. And as you can see uh, at the back, um, Thomas is climbing the tree because this is also what needs to be done. Uh, some hardcore tree climbing. Um, still, this is the, the the species that flowers from the uh, stem. So, oh, he's almost coming out, but well, he's used to that. <laughs> he's used to that. 